Today, I'm gonna show you how to spot some fake Doc Martens. With the popularity of these boots, it's no surprise that there's a lot of counterfeit versions out there. So in this video, I'll be showing you some key features to look out for to make sure you're getting the real deal. Also, if you have any stories about getting some counterfeit Doc Martens and you feel comfortable, please share. And if you have any tips, feel free to comment down below. First, let's talk about the box. Authentic Doc Martens will come in a brown box with the logo on top. The counterfeit Doc Martens may come in a similar box, but there are some slight things that can be altered. If you're looking at the box from the front, you have the Dr. Martin logo on the front right side of the box. And above that, you will have the website on the front flap of the box. Once you turn the box to your right, you will have the details of what you bought on the left side and the Dr. Martin logos on the right of that. On the back of the box, you have some information about Doc Martens in multiple languages. On the left side of the box, you're going to see the Doc Martin logo. When you open the box, you will have a Doc Martin statement on the lid of the box. You will also have the Doc Martin packing papers inside. Lastly, once you look inside the box, you're going to see the Doc Martin footprint. I believe the box is one of the easiest things for them to counterfeit. I mean, you can find a Doc Martin box easily or they can purchase one and then they can put their own label on it to make it look real, especially the Doc Martin box and then the, the packing paper or whatever it's called. Those two things are very easy to get your hands on, but you have to look through the box and make sure that everything is on there, especially like the labeling of whatever you're buying to make sure it's real. Also, if you're gonna buy some made in England, that means you have money. So I recommend you buying these online, like the Doc Martin website or the Doc Martin store or like stores that sell Doc Martens. It makes it easier so that you don't get tricked into buying some fake shoes or boots for more than you should pay for them. Next, let's talk about the boots themselves. The yellow stitching on authentic Doc Martens, they try the best to be precise and even. And also, they don't overlap too much. Once it goes around, they overlap probably one, maybe two stitches. That's the max. And they try their best to make it as even and as precise as possible. Everything is not perfect, but you can tell where the stitching starts and ends. A great tip that you can use is to go on the Doc Martin website. They do a great job on showing like each part of the shoes on their website, just displaying the shoes. So you can use that and compare it to what shoes that you want or you think that you're gonna get. If possible, if you can have it side by side, that would be amazing because you can look at the upper stitches and stuff like that to see if everything matches. Also the YouTuber Rose Anvil, he's, he's the guy that cut boots in half on YouTube. He had said that the stitching on the inside of the 1460s, they're very unique. So if you can see, like take a picture, get something in there to see if they're real or not, that will be fantastic. But realistically, I know that's pretty difficult and that only works for the 1460s. So what if you wanna get some 1461s or some Chelsea boots? They're not all stitched the same. So that would be hard, but it's just a tip for individuals. If that's possible, you can do it. That's great. Also, if you're looking straight into the shoes on those insoles, they should have a Doc Martin logo on it. Plain and simple, especially if you're buying it brand new, it should be a fresh Doc Martin logo on the insoles. It shouldn't look weird or hard to read. It's easy to recognize. The problem would come in if you're buying it used because those insoles, you have to put your foot in there. So slowly the Doc Martens can get wiped off. The logo can get wiped off. But if you're buying it brand new, you should have a fresh Doc Martin logo on the insoles. Should be very clear to read. When it comes to the pull tab, you have the word airwear, which is facing towards the front of the boots. And then at the back end of the pull tab, you have the with bouncing soles. This is another part that they can get wrong too. It should be very simple. If you can read the airwear on the pull tab, it should be good. And then on the back, it should have the width bouncy soles. You can go on the website to just confirm how it should look like the exact logo or the exact way it should look like. Another important feature to look out for is the sole of the boots. Authentic Doc Martin soles are heat sealed to the upper of the shoes. While the fake or the counterfeit one, they can be glued on or 
the sole is just thin and you can just tell it's not what it should be. Another thing is knowing the sole patterns of Doc Martens. This is the most common type of sole. While the Jadens use the Commando type of soles, I believe the Bex does too, but an easy way to find out what type of sole that that particular Doc Martin has, just go to the website. The soles should be smooth and in one piece. They should not be any cuts like they try to glue multiple pieces together or anything like that. It should be one smooth piece and even in the divots and everything, everything is just smooth put together. Lastly, one of the biggest giveaway is the engraving on the soles. Authentic Doc Martens, they do have some type of engraving that it has a cross and it talks about oil and all this other material stuff. And counterfeit ones, they find it very hard to replicate that exact thing. The real ones are very smooth, they're easy to read. So that's a big thing when it comes to figuring out if these are fake or real. In conclusion, by paying attention to the box, the stitching, the sole, the leather, and also just the way that they package it, you can spot whether or not they're fake Doc Martens. Don't be fooled by the counterfeit versions of the Doc Martens, and if you're gonna spend your money on it, make sure you get the real deal. Lastly, if you want a pair of Doc Martens, here's some common mistakes that people do that I'm pretty sure is gonna help you out. Check it out right here.